What's up, everybody? Old man boxing. Hey, you know something? I've been wanting to be, you know, pretty uh, tough on certain boxes. You know what I mean? And I can't say I've been the best with Jarrell Miller. But it's time to be a bit of objective because there has been some folks out there who failed drug test and nothing happened at first so we're gonna talk about one in particular Alexander Povetkin okay he failed he failed one test and it was for <clears throat> excuse me it was for melodonium and that was before the Wilder fight but they didn't do anything to the man they just let it go you know there, there, there was no repercussions for it so I'm like, okay, you know, right, why is this? And uh, I believe, yeah, 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 I was right, I was right. And then um, in 2016, he felt, in two years, I mean, one year he felt two tests for two different um, of substances, two different steroids. So the other one was before he was to face um, Bermain Stavern. And, and that and that was for Osterine. And Osterine is a muscle builder, while Melodonium is a performance enhancer. And the reason why, um, let me go back to um, before the Wilder fight. Um, they didn't do anything to Povetkin because he said that he stopped taking Melodonium in 2015. Now, hold on. If you stopped taking it in 2015, why is it still in your system in 2016? And just because you said that, they gave you a break. But then you, you know, you go and you, you fail for another steroid. That really makes no sense to me, man. It, it, it makes no sense that he was able to fight Anthony Joshua in 2018. So I look at it like this. If they could do that for Povetkin, why can't they do that for Jarrell Miller? I guess Jarrell Miller don't have the money that Povetkin had. From what I heard, Povetkin got money behind him. Some serious dough. And not only that, Jarrell Miller's black. Everybody know in this country, no matter, and really around, around the world, if you're black, you do wrong, you're going to get persecuted they're going to destroy you but I'm one on this side to say hey look if Povetkin can do it why the hell can't Jarrell Miller why can't Jarrell Miller forget about the money aspect what you need to do is what I see a lot of what I've seen a lot of people doing court cases they used court cases to justify their case that's how you come up with some of these acts you know I don't know the name of them but I know uh you know, you, you, you got certain acts that's out here. They came because of a certain case that was won on a certain principle. So that's what I would do. You know, and they said um, um, another reason why Povetkin got off because he appealed the decision. And they just gave him a one year. And I believe that's after the second one. They gave him a one year suspension. Supposed to have been indefinitely. I don't think they know what the word indefinitely means. And... I guess, and they charged him um, 200,000 pounds. Okay, look, we all know what they're going to charge Jarrell Miller, but hey, look here, man. I say like this. Use that Povetkin case in your, to, to your advantage, Jarrell Miller, and, 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 and push for getting back in. But this time, man, do not. If they, if, if they give you a second chance, do not screw it up man matter of fact right now you need to be just straight detoxing i mean like big time detoxing you know so and, and the reason why i'm doing this is because yo look regardless of what jerrell miller did we yeah it was bad i'm not i'm not condoning it even though some of these knuckleheads think that i am i don't get it i guess they don't get the content of my videos i guess i'm not speaking you know proper english but anyway um you know I, I'm just saying, somebody need, look, I look at it like this. 
I can't be like that all the time. I got to look at both sides of the coin. And I done looked at everybody's sides of the coin in most cases. And I looked at Pavekin's side of the coin. So now I'm looking at Jarrell Miller's side of the coin. Yo, look, he from over here. So in this case, I'm going to say, yo, give him another chance, man. We know, we know that it happened in, what, 2013 with some kickboxing thing. But that was then. You know, although I, I still feel how I feel, like when it comes to, you know, um, him cheating, I still feel like I feel that, yo, there's no room for that at all. I don't dig that. I think that's that, 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 that's just sucker stuff to me, man. It's like, yo, man. And then not only that, it's a statement. Statement he was trying to make, yo, that mindset up there, I know what statement he was trying to make. Yeah, ain't no doubt about that. You know, but anyway, um, I just wanted to throw that out there. You know, I feel like this, if Pavekin could do it, so could um, Jarrell Miller, you know. And, and, and I mean, regardless of what everybody's saying, they try, you know, that they making big light of it. Look at Pavekin. That's all I got to say. Old Man Boxer signing out. Peace.